to be all up to our inside player and impact player of the game in Claybo. And now McDavis, that's something you can tell. Starts with off ball movement, and you see it. Paplo drawn in, gives Lucero a little bit of separation from the offensively. And you got to spark something here. Lucero pulls up from the free throw line, knocks it down. You talk about getting her going early. She's slowing things down. Paplo has it. McDavis faces up from three, and she knocks that one down. They like to roll that ball in transition. A little bit of off ball motion, offense set up. McDavis is going to come out the one to take it. And well, are we on Broadway right now? Because she sells that one, gets the foul. Julia Fleeks are going to switch, and they do exactly that right there. But Lucero makes a pay. The Fighting Hawks, Lucero goes up with it, takes some contact. She's going to want a foul, not get one. But the offensive board comes in for NAU. Lucero dishes that one into McDavis, and an open three comes from Sinegini, and she'll knock that one down every time. On the half court line. She was trying to play transition defense, ends up with the basketball, wide open three shot, Olivia Lucero spots it up. Going to the hole, pull up jumper for Lucero, so smart. That's pure intelligence and savvy. Good catch there by Kalei Paplo to keep it alive and opens up some room for Kenna McDavis with the screen. And McDavis not from beyond the arc, but another three-point play right there. Sinegini goes up, the put back from Paplo, never giving up on the play, and the buzzer beater put back for Kalei Paplo. That's huge. Right there. Now Rashid has it on the inside and a three-point play opportunity. The bench goes out on her in that situation and easily got it. Zach, she just looks engaged as she hits a two right there. Talk about engaged, Rashid feeling herself as Lucero. She's hanging around the elbow right now. Well, there she goes, Kyrika Rashid back at it. He didn't. Paplo gets it out to a wide open Kenna McDavis, and when you give her that amount of space, she's going to do exactly that. Knocks down Quinn Snyder. NAU is five of their last five from the field. McDavis makes it six of the last six. What is going on? Dakota beat Beaver State, too. That one rattles in. And the other thing is North Dakota. Yeah, we saw Jill Morton last month around this time, 17 rebounds. When we talk about Claybo so often inside the paint, she loves good, good, good. Morton swings this one over to Claybo, and then a three shot going up. You're not going to see it too often, but it falls down right here. Melissa Daly puts it. Frankie's stuck on the inside, but gets that one dished out to Morton, and a nice play there. A little bit of a floater on the interior. Just trying to figure out what they're going to do offensively as we see mid-range there. Claybo takes that. Claybo works up, mid-range jumper, and she'll have it. Easy buckets for her. And if you're NAU, you, you, you. They've been held to four points so far as the three ball goes up right there and make it seven now in the third quarter here. That's more. Rolling around to the inside, the up and under. Such a savvy veteran, veteran move right there. Lex fighting Hawks. There's that mid-range jumper that they've gone to oh so often in this basketball game. Shots. Claybo gonna finish the game off nice for herself right here.